What we're going to be doing is showing you in this video how to install a printer potty waste ink tank onto this Epsom Photo PX730WD. Now this heralds from an era when Epsom had different model numbers for different countries and different names. So you might know it as an Artisan 735. Um, it's a TX730WD in Australia, for example. But anyway, the general layout is about the same. Look for the compatibility notes in the description below to see whether or not your particular printer model is covered by this instruction set. Okay, so let's get started. First things first. You are going to need a Phillips crosshead screwdriver. You will also need a, a drill. This is a 4.5 millimeter drill bit and obviously your printer potty waste kit. Now, this particular printer has an, a duplexer on it. To be honest, it just kind of gets in the way. So I would just remove that, take it to one side for the moment. But what you'll need to do is actually turn this printer over. Um, what we'll do first though is familiarize you with where the different um, screws and everything else are. What you have is a screw here and a release catch here. Those, that there needs to be removed and this catch needs to be released. We're gonna remove this screw just here. Now, if you're going to turn your printer upside down, what we recommend you do is turn it on its front and then onto its lid like so. The reason for that is that the ink in the tubes, because this printer has got a built-in continuous ink system, similar to what you would find in an eco tank system. The only difference is it's cartridge fed rather than bottle fed, but the ink will move from left to right. So if you move it onto its front and then move it onto its back, you are avoiding that ink sloshing back and forth side to side. You remove your screw from just here, then you release the catch here. Now what you need to be able to do is be ready to lever this bit here when the catch goes. So a little flathead screwdriver in there, press the catch, you can get it. Come on. There you go. Catch is released. Lift up like that. What you have in here is a tube mount which will be locked into here. All you have to do is just gently pull that out like so. And then the pad holder and the pads themselves can be released. Now there's a bit of padding has fallen in to the printer. Just watch out for that. Make sure there's no bits of padding inside because you don't want to leave those. They would jam things up. Now that we've done that, let me show you where the waste tubes are. The obvious main waste tube is this one here. That's the one that everybody sees straight away and assumes that's it. Actually, it turns out these printers have got a little bit of trick up their sleeve in that they actually have what's known as an overflow. And you can see this little circle here, that is the overflow tube, okay? So we're going to be connecting to this main tube here and also to this overflow here. Now, before we do that, to allow our tube extension, this part here, to be able to exit the printer, what we're gonna do is just expand this hole just here to 4.5 millimeters in diameter. So, got the right drill bit. Won't require much, it's just a tiny bit. It shaves a tiny bit of plastic off, but that will now allow us to get our waste tube in. So what we need to do, this is our uh, tube connector. Just so as you know, this part with the thinner barb connector will fit into our overflow, which we found down in here. And this part with the wider barb fitting is going to go into there. Now the reason this clip or this tube clamp exists is because some people have found it really difficult to connect to the overflow pipe and have just decided to take a chance on it, not actually to kicking in and dumping any waste ink. And what they've done is they've just clamped 
that tube off. We don't recommend you do that. You can, it is an option, but we wouldn't recommend it because eventually that overflow pipe will actually start dumping some small amounts of ink out of it and uh, you won't have your waste tray in the printer anymore to actually catch it, okay? So, so first thing we need to do is disconnect our Y fitting from this long tube extension here. So we're just gonna take that part there so that you're left with your longer part with the tube clamp on the outside and this bit is going to go on the inside. Now, as I mentioned, this thicker barb is the one that now connects in to your main waste tube. So we get a bit of kitchen towel, clean that up a little bit, and then just push that slowly but surely, push that on to our main fitting so that it's on nice and tight like that. Now for the next bit, this is quite tricky to get hold of. We need to be able to get this bit of waste tube out enough that we can actually be able to connect this part of our extension to it. Now, to make that easier, I have a pair of forceps here. So what I'm going to do, grab hold of it like that, pull it up a little bit, and then clamp there, okay? That then allows me to feed this into that extension and that part there. Now this is not easy, you need to take your time. To get it in properly. You may need to adjust the point at which you've got uh, your needle nose pliers or your forceps or whatever it is that's holding the tube to be able to get that in but as you can see there that is starting to come in quite nicely I've got to reach the point where I think forceps are actually blocking it anymore. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, right, you're not gonna be able to see this bit. I'm just gonna try and get that on a bit better. You do need to be careful not to stretch this tube too much in the process of trying to get it in because it, you could potentially pull it off the pump and that would, whoop, whoops, and that would be bad. As you can see there, I've got that most of the way on, quite happy with that. So what I'm gonna do is just tuck that back down in there, like so. And that's actually quite a nice tidy little fit. Obviously, because we've connected this waste tube here, we want to make sure that that clamp is not done up, it's not closed. And then what we'll do next is move on to reconnecting all of the tubing. So we need to thread our external piece here through our enlarged hole. And that may not be immediately possible because this has been stretched by the Y fitting. So what you may need to do is just snip just that tiny little bit off the end where it's been stretched. And you should then find, yep, yeah, there you go. Just a bit too far, just expanded a bit too far. Okay, so you pull that through you then reconnect your Y fitting to the tube on the inside. So that's now all connected up. One thing we're not going to be doing, we are not going to be putting this back on. There are instructions on the Printer Potty website, the support.printerpotty site for this particular printer that show you how you can modify um, this tray to allow it to be inserted back in. It involves basically sawing out um, this block here so that it will then slot back in and rely on this little clip to hold everything together. But to be honest with you, I wouldn't bother. It's not really that important. Okay, so you're gonna be disposing of this and uh, leaving the, op the bottom like this open. Now, if you're particularly worried about things getting up and into the printer, what you can do is get a bit of card, cardboard, something like that, and then just stick it underneath here, um, just over this area, 
um, just to keep it protected from dust and things. But again, the printer is going to be turned back over onto its base. So this will be the, the bottom again. So again, your desk is actually going to protect it anyway. Okay. Okay, before we flip this printer back over, we have a, um, a little piece here, which is a tubing clip. That basically is a guide clip that helps you keep the tubing nice and tidy. Now, the one thing you probably notice is there's the gears inside the printer um, that need to be kept clear, of basically the tubing out of the way of that. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this to guide the tube around. Now, with this part here, you'll have between 10 and 15 centimeters of extension. What you could do with is um, around, you could do some way of just keeping that out of the way. So what we'd probably do is recommend you guide your tubing part over this way because it keeps it away from these gears. Whereas these ones down here are already protected by this lip. Okay, so all we're gonna do is take the backing off of our tube clamp bit and then just place that up against on there just there press that down and then place our oh, oh. <laughs> of course it's not gonna hold it but press that and then slide that into there so it lifts it out of the way and keeps things nice and tidy what you can do if the tubing is not playing ball and it's sticking up and out of the way and things, when you, even when you do that, what you can do is just rotate, rotate your piece around and that will help twist your tubing around a little bit and get it out of the way. Okay, so like this bit here is, is sticking up a bit. What we're going to do is just pull that around like that. As long as you haven't got anything that looks like this, just here. Um, then you're fine, okay? So like I said, we're gonna turn that around a little bit, pull that down, and that will be fine. Get that out of the way. Right, so the tubing has now been routed correctly. We have our little tube guide installed as well. This clamp is open. Now what we can do is turn the printer back on its front and then onto its base as normal like so. so onto its front and then on to its base as normal what we do now is just make sure that tubing here isn't hanging down so we can put that back on now as you remember the y fitting is on the inside of this hole here so if anything happens and somebody comes along and catches it pulls the tank or whatever then the internal waste tubes are protected. That Y fitting is gonna stop them stretching too much. It's basically a strain relief that stops the tubes internally being damaged by anything happening out here. So now that we've done that, let's just put our uh, duplexer back in. Remember how to put it in, there we go. That's the duplexer back in. And we reassemble our waste tank like this. Put the lid on, the vent hole, should be towards the valve end and then you just connect the valve to the blue connector here twist that on clockwise that will open up the valve automatically and last thing you do is make sure that the tube clamp here is open like that it's not crimped if it's crimped like that it'll stop the waste ink flowing into the tank so you make sure that that is open like so and basically that's it. You are good to go. So there you go. That's the entire process for installing a printer potty waste ink tank to this PX730WD. See the description below for the full list of compatible models that this instruction set covers. And um, if you'd like to leave us any comments, constructive criticism, etc., please do use the comments below or contact us using our support details again in the description. If you liked it, please do give us a thumbs up and you can always subscribe if you're interested in this content. We will have plenty more to do with waste ink kits in the future. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.